going on guys, CJR here today with an unboxing of the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. Uh, the G7X, uh, the previous version, was known as one of the best vlogging cameras on the market. I actually, when I was purchasing my camera to, that I wanted to use for vlogging, uh, right now I'm using a Canon, or uh, yeah, Canon 70D. Um, which is a little bit cumbersome taking it out on vacations to do vlogs with. Uh, so I decided to spend the money and get a nice uh, point-and-shoot camera. I've got uh, a young, young, two young boys as you guys know, so I'm taking a lot more pictures these days too. So it's nice having something that's a little bit more compact. And uh, I actually decided to go with the uh, Sony RX100 Mark IV over the Canon G7X. Um, I kind of regretted it after just the the the, can, the, uh, the Sony is so much more expensive. I think the Sony is twelve hundred here in Canada, and the G7X at the time was I think seven hundred, so uh, a lot more money. And um, I soon realized that I wasn't really getting five hundred dollars more worth of, of camera with the Sony. But uh, I'll talk about that a little bit more in a minute here. Um, I just want to do an unboxing. I actually didn't even realize that this was uh, going to be released uh, yet. I, I had heard that it would be in Canada at the end of May. So I uh, went ahead and pre-ordered one just to kind of uh, make sure that I got one. And then the next day it said, your your uh, item has shipped, your camera has shipped. So it was a really nice surprise to get it this soon. I'm going to put this camera through its paces. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it from all the videos I've seen. Uh, I was actually in love with the G7X and this one is, is a, uh, only going to be better. So um, I'll do a quick unboxing here and maybe I'll talk about some of the new features. And then we'll do a little comparison between the uh, G7X Mark II and the uh, Sony um, RX100 Mark IV. Okay, here we have the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. I'm go ahead and open this up. The, uh, the box for comparison is uh, quite a bit larger than the um, Sony RX100 Mark IV. Uh, from what I've seen, the G7X, both the G7X and uh, specifically this one, the Mark II, are lar a, a little bit larger than the, uh, the Mark IV, the Canon or the uh, Sony RX100 Mark IV. Um, so we've got our warranty card here. As I said, I'm in Canada. We've got the, uh, the manual. Good thick manual, several languages. Open this up. Is the camera itself. I can already tell actually from just picking it up in this half a second. Um, it's got a really quality feel to it. The camera's got a really solid metal, like really well built feel to it. And uh, I like how they have the grips. The previous version didn't have this grip here. And I'll show you when we compare the um, the RX100 Mark IV, the grip on that. I actually installed the grip, so this one comes with it, really nice. Um, we can see the screen actually flips up much like the uh, the Mark IV, the Sony. The previous version, I believe, on the, G, uh, on the G7X just had a flip up screen. Uh, this screen, you're able to uh, switch to many angles. You can do like a um, uh, in case you're holding the camera above your head, you can see it that way. And then here's obviously selfie mode. Mechanism feels actually quite a bit more, quite a bit stronger than the, uh, the Mark IV, the Sony camera. All right, so here we have the charger. Now, from what I've read, um, this camera also will charge through USB. So if you have the battery and you can actually plug it into a USB charger and charge it that way, which is a really nice feature that I actually really enjoyed um, using on the RX100. And there's the Canon battery. Uh, these batteries are not cheap to replace. I think they go for about $75 here in Canada. And there's the little battery charger. And then inside the box, we've also got the, uh, the little wrist strap, which I do like to use. Um, quick view of the camera. I don't have the battery charged, but I'll just show you guys, try and show you each, each angle here. Some really nice raised buttons here 
for easy access. Uh, the one thing I'm not a big fan of that I've seen in some of the reviews or some of the videos online is uh, the record button here for when you're recording video is actually pretty flush. Um, so if you're holding it this way in selfie mode, which I do a lot, it's going to take some practice getting used to uh, finding that button. The one thing is it is right directly below this grip so when you're holding it from the back you can feel the grip, slide your finger down and then access the button. But it would be nice if this is a little bit more raised. Um, it's actually lower than uh, the other buttons here. It's more flush than the than this than the other other guys here. But yeah it's a really nice camera. Beautiful. It feels a little bit, like I said, it feels like a more quality camera, uh, quality build. It, it's, it feels a little bit more heavy and, um, I don't know, how would I say, stronger, more durable. Definitely feels more durable than the uh, RX100. Okay, so we have the Canon PowerShot G7X on the left. My right, your left, I believe and the Sony Mark, Sony RX100 Mark IV on my left. Um, as I said, the Sony RX100 Mark IV, slightly smaller. Um, I can already tell it's a, it's a little bit lighter. Um, I'll show you here. This grip is actually, I installed, um, this is the official Sony grip. It does not come with this and it's actually a really smooth surface and hard to hold on to. So, I actually installed that grip along with a um, Sony uh, screen protector there. Um, the nice thing about the Sony RX100 Mark IV is it's got this really cool pop-up uh, viewfinder here, which is a really nice feature. I don't use it a whole lot. Um, I mainly use this camera for video, so it's not a feature that is a necessity to me. And then we've also got the pop-up flash. On the um, G7X, we've got the pop-up flash, but no pop-up viewfinder. Like I said, not a big deal at all. Um, the Canon G7X Mark II now comes with a, um, a, uh, a time-lapse mode built into the camera. The uh, RX100 Mark IV, um, it has a time-lapse mode, but it had to be downloaded through uh, one of Sony's apps. Uh, it actually works quite well, and I'm pretty happy with the, uh, the RX100 Mark IV's time-lapse app. I haven't had any time, obviously. I just took this out of the box. I'm charging the battery now. So I'm hoping to do some videos, some comparison. Uh, one of the main reasons why I decided to go with this, one, because it was cheaper. Uh, I, do, I do like the time-lapse mode that's built into this. I, I think I had to pay extra for the time-lapse mode. It was only like $5 on the Sony. Um, but this camera, from what I saw, and actually the previous version, the G7X Mark I, seemed to do really well in low-light conditions and... Uh, it would change the, the ISO really quickly. So if I went from outdoors to indoors, it would auto adjust uh, really nicely. And that's one of the main reasons why I would decide to go with this over the Mark IV. Um, like I said, one of the main selling points of the Sony RX100 Mark IV for me was the 4K video. And I, had, I, I knew about the issues with it overheating. Um, it just became a major annoyance uh, because you would, you would shoot for like a minute and a half in 4K, it would overheat. You know, which is fine, I only shoot like 30 second to minute long clips. The problem is you have to then wait for it to cool down before you can shoot anything else. And you do run into problems if if uh, you're within that 10 minutes and you want to pull, pull out your camera and shoot something, you can't do it. So uh, the 4K on this to me is, is pretty much useless. Um, yeah, this obviously has the Carl Zeiss lens, this has, has a Canon's lens. Uh, there's a whole bunch of spec comparisons online. I'm no camera expert by any means. Uh, you can find a breakdown comparing these two cameras online. Like I said, um, I'd like to do a comparison video of just like lighting conditions between these two cameras. And uh, hopefully I'll get to that. I'm gonna charge this battery and uh, fool around with this for the next couple of days. Um, anyways, that is, that's it. Just wanna do a quick unboxing of the Canon PowerShot G7. X Mark II. Uh, like I said, this will be 
Uh, you'll see all like the famous vloggers using this if they're not already. A lot of people stuck with the G7X over the uh, Sony um, RX100 Mark IV uh, just because it's quite a bit cheaper and actually it's um, it's arguably a better camera. Some people will argue that the Sony's better, some people argue that the Canon's better, but when you compare the price and uh, if you don't really care about the 4K on this camera, I think the G7X is the clear clear way to go. Um, I got a good deal on this online used, so that, par that partly swayed me into this purchase. Um, I think I ended up paying like $100 more, not $500, so that was a big deal for me. But um, yeah, anyways, I'll do some more videos on this in the future, hopefully. Okay, so I had to give you just some first impressions of this camera. Uh, when I first powered it on, I was immediately shocked at the, uh, the picture I was looking at in the little viewfinder. Um, just kind of walking around the basement here, you can see how quickly it adapts to different lighting situations. Um, I'm filming right now at 1080p, 60 frames per second. And one of the issues I did have down here, this room behind me right now is actually much darker than it looks on camera. Um, so I just wanted to quickly show you the, the way, uh, how well it adapts quickly to um, really like low light and uh, you know, super high washed out light. I'll point the camera outside here and you'll see it. That's pretty darn good. One more time. Back to me, pretty impressive. Um, kind of, I, I have the camera in auto mode right now. I, I, uh, I'm pretty impressed so far. You can see it's hard to even tell you what kind of lighting down here is because it just kind of artificially adapts to it so quickly. Really, really impressive. I'm just blown away looking at the viewfinder right now. So yeah, that's uh, some quick footage from the uh, Canon G7X Mark II. Stay tuned, I'll probably do a comparison if you guys are at all interested between the G7X Mark II and the Sony RX100 Mark IV. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please do me a favor and uh, hit the like button below. And until the next episode.